I mean, do y'all see the title of this video? Woman blanks boyfriend's baby and records it. It's like, I'm genuinely starting to get concerned, bruh. What are people going through that pushes them to do such wicked things? Like, this is diabolical. Like, something is wrong with you. Mentally unstable people are roaming around this world, bruh. Like... I thank God, bro. I thank God that I do not have to be around people like this. I thank God that he has blessed me to be around people who care for themselves. Because whatever this woman is going through, she got something wicked to deal with, Chad. This is absolutely insane. Now, look. We're about to hop into today's video, okay? This is supposed to be live police footage of her actually getting arrested in court for what she did to her boyfriend's child, all right? If you guys are new to the channel, make sure you guys do subscribe. I'm not even going to say leave a like on this video, but if you guys do like the content and the quality of the channel, then I would say leave a like on this video and subscribe. And make sure you guys tune into the Twitch. I am going live tonight at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, and I do go live every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and Saturday. But without further ado, yeah. This is, this is sad, bro. This is straight sad, man. Wow, bro. Wow. It was the early hours of August wow, 22nd, 2023, when a father walked into the Stillwater Police Department headquarters in Oklahoma. He was clearly in distress. As Lieutenant TJ Lowe would put it, we had him very visibly upset and storming into our department lobby. So, what exactly happened then? Well, ladies and gentlemen, it's to no surprise the father was in the state he was because on the evening of the 21st of August 2023, that would be the evening before he went to the police, he discovered something truly horrific. His girlfriend had allegedly been sexually assaulting his three-year-old daughter while video recording the vile act. She had also taken pictures. That's crazy, y'all. Uh. That's crazy. Wow. See, and the crazy part about it is she hasn't even asked why she's being arrested, so I'm assuming she already knows why. You know what I mean? Like, I, I think that she already knows why she's being arrested and detained, because she hasn't asked anything yet. She knows why. You got any form of, like, slip-on shoe or anything? Keep 
put them up in the front a little bit. They're like falling down. <clears throat> Make sure I in your purse. You get that, you get it. for a sexual battery of a minor. A minor. Mm -hmm. oh In possession of chopper. In possession of chopper. Oh my God. <laughs> That's crazy, bro. 19-year-old Ashley oh Chittum was arrested just moments after her boyfriend had reported her to police. He would go on to tell authorities that he had only recently met Ashley online and they started to date. She moved into his home, that's where she was arrested. The father said that on the evening of the 21st of August 2023, he decided to use Ashley's mobile phone for reasons currently unknown. Although one report suggests that the father suspected Ashley had been up to something untoward and wanted to investigate. It was clear that his instinct was correct. After browsing through the phone, he discovered that Ashley had allegedly been sexually assaulting his daughter in various videos and images. However, police wouldn't give specifics about the abuse. I wonder how long they were dating for. Like, I wonder how long they were dating for before she started doing this stuff. Nor would they state how many files were discovered. A lot of his appearance, the police officers here and members of the community as well. If you had that little sinking feeling, obviously, you know, trust your gut. Do a thorough background check on everyone that's going to watch your kids. It was all very disturbing. That's why we made the arrest that day. Ashley Cheatham would go on to be arrested and booked on charges of sexual abuse of a child under 12 years old, making or distributing types of obscene material or child pornography, possession of marijuana, and violating the Oklahoma Computer Crimes Act. From the latest round of reports, Ashley is still currently locked up. As many of you will know, it'll be a little while until we receive any more updates moving forward. As this incident happened only last week from when I'm recording this video. Wow. When the news began to circulate that Ashley had been arrested on specific charges, wow. some locals who knew her came forward as they heard she had recently been employed by a local school. They wanted the police to do a thorough background check just in case there were any more victims. Ashley Cheatham was in the process of being hired by the district for the current school year, 2023 through to 2024. All employees are required to do a federal background check as part of the hiring process. Before the hiring process was completed, a mutual decision to terminate the hiring process was made. Ms. Cheatham never worked for the district, never received a paycheck, and has never been with any of our students. Although she didn't work at the school, Ashley still advertised her services working with children online. You see, she had been on a website called nannylane.com, a website that provides babysitting services to families who are interested. The site admits that they conduct background checks before offering a verified nanny for a family, but when KFOR News reached out to them in regards to this recent incident, they didn't respond. If there's one message to take away from this story, it would be that if you have children, you need to make sure you know who you're bringing around them, especially wow, in the no. home. And if you don't really know them, you need to make sure you're running some kind of checks beforehand. You've got to take those extra steps or sadly incidents like this could happen. And unfortunately, it won't stop here today with this incident. A 19 year old woman arrested for child sexual abuse. Bro, I can't, bro, I can't even imagine as a parent. I'm not a parent right now, but as a parent, I can't even imagine how that must feel to think that there was another individual completely mistreating your child, bro. Like, that just hurts my heart to even think about. That's like so sick. I feel like diabolical is the right word. She belongs in prison. She belongs in prison, bro. She belongs. And I would never wish prison amongst anyone. But I feel like people who deserve it, people who commit heinous crimes like this or murder or crazy stuff, they deserve it. But look, y'all, I'm going to end this video right here. If you guys did enjoy or if you guys didn't enjoy the quality of this video, make sure you guys leave a like down below and subscribe. Let me catch you guys in the next one, man. Peace.